Hello everyone, welcome to KK Human Anatomy and Physiology videos, a platform where you will get interesting facts about human anatomy and physiology. In this video, we are going to talk about the brain anatomy. This video is going to be introductory. We all know that human brain is the most mysterious organ. There are as many neurons in the brain as there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. The adult human brain weighs on average about 1.5 kilograms and makes up about 2% of human's body weight. It contains about 86 billion nerve cells. I will tell you interesting facts about human brain. You will find this video in i button as well as in description below. Before starting with the video, let's perform some fun test. I will give you some words. Don't read the word. Instead, say the color like pink, green, black. Are you ready? Let's start. There might be chances that you read the word but not the color. The interference between the different information, what the words say and the color of the words your brain receives causes a problem. There are two theories that explain this. Speed of processing theory which states that the interference occurs because words are read faster than colors are named. And a selective attention theory, the interference occurs because naming colors requires more attention than reading words. The game we just played is actually a neuropsychological test which is widely used in psychology, used for both experimental and clinical purposes. While giving answers, there might be mismatch between the name of the word and the color in which it is printed. Main objective of this test is brain activation for two variants, detection of color and reading of the word. Stroop effect involves activating the areas of the brain involved in color perception but not those involved in encoding. Encephalogy is the science that deals with the brain and its structure and function. Human brain is divided into three parts. They are forebrain also called as prosencephalon, midbrain also called as mesencephalon and hindbrain also called as a rhombencephalon. In image you can see all these three parts of brain. Just try to remember these parts. You know they are not that much difficult. Let me explain. Just remember the word encephalon. When we talk about the origin of this word encephalon it came from Greek word encephalon in which en meaning inside and kephale meaning head means what is inside the head. Let's start with the forebrain also called as prosencephalon. It consists of renencephalon, telencephalon and diencephalon. Renencephalon consists of olfactory lobe. Olfactory lobes are highly reduced in human brain and covered by cerebrum from all sides except ventral. Each lobe consists of olfactory peduncle and olfactory bulb. The olfactory lobe is concerned with the sense of odor. This part of the brain receives sensation of smell. Olfaction begins when odorant molecules enter the nasal cavity through inhalation or by rising from the mouth. Those molecules interact with olfactory receptors. Telencephalon includes cerebrum. Cerebrum is the largest part of the brain. It is divided into right cerebral hemisphere and a left cerebral hemisphere. Moving onwards, diencephalon consists of epithalamus, thalamus and hypothalamus. Main function of diencephalon is to regulate consciousness, sleep and alternus. Another part of brain is midbrain also called as mesencephalon. It is located between the diencephalon and pons varoli. From the image you can see the location of midbrain. It consists of two parts corpora quadrigemina and 
crura cerebri also called as a cerebral peduncle corpora quadrigemina are four rounded elevations on dorsal surface of midbrain this two superior colliculi are involved in visual reflexes and two inferior colliculi are for auditory reflexes the other part crura cerebri that is cerebral peduncle are thick fibrous tracts present on inferior surface of brain near the center of the midbrain is a mass of gray matter scattered within the white matter it is called the red nucleus it plays an important role in controlling posture and muscle tone modifying some motor activities and motor coordination third part is hindbrain also called rhombencephalon it consists of two parts metencephalon and myelencephalon metencephalon consists of pons varoli and cerebellum whereas myelencephalon consists of medulla oblongata the pons varoli appears as a rounded bulge on the underside of brain stem medulla oblongata is the posterior cranial part of the brain 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 stem consists of midbrain pons and medulla and continues up to spinal cord the cerebellum is second largest part of the brain and consists of two lateral hemisphere and a central vermis this is the introductory part 1 of brain anatomy hope you understood well in my next upcoming part of brain anatomy you will get in detail information of each part of brain if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video for more update join the forum and group visit my facebook page for more information i have provided the link in description below have a happy learning